I mean, Duncan Smith has offered his support to the Prime Minister's announcement of hundreds of new North Sea oil and gas licences. The former Conservative leader told this programme that it's hypocrisy to think buying gas from abroad is greener than drawing on domestic resources. But the SNP's leader in Westminster, Stephen Flynn, was less clear about his party's position, saying that they also had to hit environmental targets. Getting these things down is important in the shorter term, whilst we try and get towards those net zero targets, but do it in a rational way. I think the Prime Minister's right to do this here. And by the way, I think uh, the Scottish Government and Labour are sloping their shoulders. They know full well that if we were to stop all drilling tomorrow, we would have to massively increase the amount that we buy in from other countries. So it is a hypocrisy to pretend somehow you're greener by buying from other countries you're not. If it can be determined that these oil fields are a necessity in order to meet energy security demands, in order to ensure that we can still meet our climate objectives, then, then of course I think you, you would seek to, to advance with some of them. However, on the flip side, if you can't ensure that this can be done in a way which is compatible to climate change, or in fact in, in a way which delivers energy security, then you shouldn't be doing that. Well, our political correspondent Ali Fortescue is here with me. Um, so, Ali, what of this response to Rishi Sunak's announcement? Well, look, I think you had two fascinating responses there. It was interesting to hear from Stephen Flynn, uh, SNP leader in Westminster. I mean, I, I, I really don't understand what their policy is on new oil and gas licences. He just wasn't clear, was Exactly, it? he just wasn't answering the question. What you could clearly see, though, that he was keen to fire his attacks, not just at the Conservatives, but as Labour as well. He said, I wouldn't be surprised if Labour changed its position again. He said that the workforce needs to be protected, um, but he was also not committing to, to any to supporting any more oil and gas licences or the jobs that um, this carbon capture scheme would create. So I think, you know, that was interesting. We also had Ian Duncan Smith, obviously, a very different um, approach from him. He is on the right of the Conservative Party. He um, is pushing the Prime Minister, basically, to ease some of those environmental policies. And that's a tension that we've seen the last few weeks. And it looks like that is pressure that the government are bending to. It looks like they're sort of spotting uh, an election battleground, certainly since the by-election in Uxbridge. They've been criticised um, for basically, you know, weaponising green policies to win votes. Um, it does look like there is, there was an YouGov, interesting YouGov poll in The Times this morning uh, about cars. It does look like there is a certain amount of support among Tory voters for some of those measures, but would it be enough for the Conservatives in a general election? Obviously, they're miles behind at the moment. That definitely isn't clear, but worth saying, he's in Scotland, he's um, going to be in Aberdeenshire, um, and that is obviously somewhere that is a Tory marginal West Aberdeenshire, Andrew Bower, that you'll be speaking to soon. These are election battlegrounds, and I think that's part of the reason that we're hearing from the Prime Minister in Scotland today. OK, Ali, thanks very much.